going up, God? Going up, dude, what the heck is that? I don't even know what that means. My name's Awkward Biker for a reason. I'm awkward, I'm a biker. What's up if it's the first time you're listening to me? If it's not the first time you're watching, guess what? Uh, my freaking mirrors, they're gone. I got these fancy little things and I got these fancy little things that are clear as mother freaking day. Because I got the CRG arrows, I had these on my old bike, my FC09, before I went down, which is even before I uh, was moto vlogging. Uh, I got these bad boys. And uh, yeah, I figured it was about time to get some bar end mirrors because they're always loosening up anyways and wanting to fall off. So I might as well get something that uh, looks good and cleans the whole bike up. I feel like I can see it all in front of me now. It's it's pretty insane. It's like I have so much room for activities. Uh, nothing's in the way. Now all I got to do is get the the reservoir thing that like it like flattens it out a little more or something. It brings it somewhere not here. Uh, that's the only thing weird about this bike is the master cylinders, how they're so uh, or the reservoirs, how they're so high up. Uh, but that's not bad. As far as these CRG, uh, guys, spend the freaking money if you guys are looking for mirror upgrades. I'm not kidding. If you want mirrors right now and you're like, I'm just going to cheap out for right now, don't do that because just save up a little bit more. Pay, be a little patient and guess what? You're going to get quality mirrors. Uh, these mir two mirrors right here set up was uh, $240 total. Now normally each one of the mirrors is $110, $100-$110, but if you go to biohazardcycles.com, uh, he is a friend of mine, he is in most of the Facebook groups that I am in, but he sells a lot of motorcycle parts, uh, he sells the arrows for $180 for both of them, so it saves you $20 to $40 right there. Uh, then you just have to buy the adapters if you don't want the weighted bar ends to go way out. You got the adapters that are CRG. You can get those from Revzilla for $20 a piece. Don't make the mistake I did. They only come in packs of one. You gotta buy two, people, unless you just want one. But these mirrors are great. They don't vibrate. Everything's perfectly clear. It's not shaky. Most of the Amazon and eBay mirrors, they'll be shaky. Uh, also, these are like concave, convex, whatever is making these uh, see a lot more. Uh, the Amazon mirrors, when I used to have one on each side, on one side and CRG on the other, because when I went down, I kept the CRG. Uh, this one, I could see a lot. This one was very zoomed in. So, I got this mirror right now. I can see a lot behind me. This one is mainly behind me directly and a little bit to my right. Because I can, uh, can kind of do that number right there. It's a lot easier for me to do that than, to, I don't know, it's weird. That's all I'm going to say about these mirrors, though. If you want quality mirrors, CRG is the way to go. And there is no vibrations as of right now. Yeah, they're clear as day. And uh, thankfully, uh, this Kia just pulled out in front of me, Hyundai, whatever, Sonata, BS. But more things are coming. Uh, I'm getting uh, new caliper bolts, titanium caliper bolts uh, that are black. Uh, Florida has corroded the hell out of my, my normal stainless ones. So I'm going to hit up the titanium and uh, fix that problem all together. Uh, I'm getting new blinkers. Those are coming soon. You'll see what those are. I'm not going to spoil any fun. And then I'm getting the tank pads that go right here. Uh, all should be here before the Dragon, which is less than three weeks away, people. I'm stoked! But uh, I like this bike super clean. I wax it, that way everything cleans off easier. So I wax the bike, guess what? That makes it a little slickery. So I'm going to get me some tank pads for me to grip onto, uh, and hopefully uh, be able to get me off the bike a little bit more, because it's going to be a little more confident. So, uh, one thing that I'll go ahead and talk about, I'll go ahead and put some of the main popular cars on the screen while I'm talking. Uh, I was hopeful, I was going to vlog this. I had my GoPro set up on my stick and everything. I did not ride up there, but I was going to motive, I was just going to vlog it, put it on the channel. I went to Amelia Island today for the concourse. Uh, lots of cars, Cars and Coffee was up there with amazing cars, cars that I never thought I would see. Uh, I'll go ahead and put some of the pictures on there that I saw, uh, but there was an LFA 
There was a Ferrari F40, a Ferrari F50, a Lamborghini Diablo, uh, the Holy Grail. There was a McLaren F1, which I don't know if you guys know that or not. There's three seats in a McLaren F1, and one is right in the center, and that's where the steering wheel is and where the driver sits. Oh, it's crystal clear, dude. Not a problem. It's gonna take some getting used to putting uh, eyes on these mirrors again like that though. But we're good. But man, the cars up there, I'm not kidding. There was more than just that. I took lots of pictures. There was a lot of Jaguars. There was so many Porsches, race cars. Oh my, there was just an unreal amount of cars. But yeah, that was today. And uh, I totally thought I was just gonna vlog that whole thing and on the way up there I was like I forgot the GoPro I didn't want to use my phone it it would be shaky it would be awkward to hold it wouldn't be as good the whole event was very pretty though uh, it was at the Ritz Carlton the amount of Ferraris and McLarens and everything that were there too there was Porsche test drives, but unfortunately I didn't get to do that. I put myself in line for one, but they were probably very immediately booked, which makes me sad. I wanted to drive a 911 around, you know? It would have been sick. I put myself on the list for the Cayenne SUV, because I was like, hell, I'll drive this. And uh, I was waitlisted, and they never called me while I was there. It made me sad. Man, I'm so happy that these antennas are gone, dude. Holy crap. And I'm so excited that the Dragon's in like less than three weeks. I keep wanting to like look in my mirror just like straight down, but it's way over here. These mirrors would definitely be more convenient if they were up, but it wouldn't look as good. So, hey, I'm going to go for looks here. I can still see out of them. I just got to get used to it. I saw a new Ford GT. Never seen one of those before. I saw two of them. I'm just still coming up with cars in my head. Hey, the mirror stayed in check, but I don't know why it shifted like that. I shifted really early. I also need to adjust my chain. <laughs> I should probably change my oil too. But it's fine. Oh, I ordered a visor too. Hey, and boots. Dude, everything's gonna be coming in soon. Oh my gosh, every time. Every time I say every time, but I never remember, dude. That dip is just, it's so abrupt. It drops to your stomach. Oh, on a motorcycle? Oh, you, your bike's just like, gone for a second it's so weird like I just look in front of me and I don't see anything anymore once I do these couple things uh, it's on to yield exhaust finally I just have to save up a little bit for that it's gonna be really weird I got high boots and then uh, the brand that I'm about to be working for as well uh, we're coming out with our own gloves suits and everything and our uh, it's finally being released and stuff and I'm about to get a custom set of gloves that are the gauntlet gloves and then I'm going to get a custom set of short gloves and then I'm going to order my suit but I'm going to get those other things first but still like all these things that I'm about to be getting are going to be so different I used to ride an Adidas high tops and then I got my boots and then I got pants <laughs> and I, I mean I had a jacket in between all that stuff but it's like holy crap it's so much different and having something that's gonna be all the way up to like my shin is just gonna be really weird but I'm gonna be geared up for the dragon if anything happens I'm gonna be Gucci hopefully nothing happens I'm putting all this money into this friggin bike <laughs> What is this man's doing? I'm turning left, bud. I was gonna pass you on a freaking residential road. <laughs> no, not in Palm Coast. Cars, cars, cars. <laughs> 